Hello. Welcome to the Master the Art of Flutter series. A step-by-step -step tutorial for beginners. In this video, we are going to learn the state management. What is state management? State management is the process of managing the state of a Flutter app. The state of an app is the data that changes over time, such as the text in a text field, the selected item in a list, or the current position on a map. Why is state management important? State management is important because it allows you to create dynamic and interactive user interfaces. For example, if you want to display a list of items that the user can select, you need to keep track of which item is currently selected. This is done by managing the state of the list. Different Approaches to State Management in Flutter There are many different approaches to state management in Flutter. Some of the most common approaches include Implicit State Management Explicit State Management State Management Libraries Implicit State Management This is the simplest approach to state management, but it can be difficult to use for complex apps. With implicit state management, the state of a widget is stored in the widget itself. Key points about implicit state management. It's suitable for small-scale, localized state management within a single widget or its subtree. It's straightforward to implement and understand. It can become cumbersome for managing complex state that needs to be shared across multiple widgets. Explicit state management. This approach is more complex than implicit state management but it gives you more control over the state of your app. With explicit state management, the state of the app is stored in a separate object, such as a stateful widget or a change notifier. Key points about explicit state management with provider. Separate state from UI for better organization and testability. Facilitates sharing state across multiple widgets without complex widget hierarchies. Provides a clear structure for managing state updates and UI rebuilds. Offers a relatively simple approach compared to some other state management solutions. State Management Libraries There are many third-party state management libraries available for Flutter. Some of the most popular libraries include Provider, Riverpod, and Block. Which state management approach should you use? The best state management approach for your app will depend on its complexity and your own preferences. If you are building a simple app, you may be able to use implicit state management. However, if you are building a complex app, you should use explicit state management or a state management library. Example of state management in Flutter Here is an example of how to use state management in Flutter to create a simple to-do app. Follow these steps to build to-do app. 1. Create a state notifier provider for state management. Define a to-do list provider using state notifier provider. This provider holds a to-do list class, which is a state notifier that manages the to-do list data. 2. Implement the to-do list class. Extend to-do list from state notifier list a to-do to manage the state of a list of to-do items. Define methods within to-do list to add and toggle to-do items within the list. 3. Access and use the provider in widgets. Use consumer widget to access providers and rebuild when state changes. Use ref.watch, to-do list provider, to access the current to-do list. Use ref.read, to-do list provider.notifier, to modify the state by calling methods on the to-do list instance. 4. Handle user interactions. Use UI elements like buttons and checkboxes to trigger state changes. When a user interaction occurs, call the appropriate methods on the to-do list notifier to update the state. 5. Rebuild UI based on state changes. Riverpod automatically rebuilds widgets that depend on the changed state, ensuring the UI always reflects the latest data. Conclusion State management is an important part of Flutter development. By understanding state management, you can create dynamic and interactive user interfaces. There are many different approaches to state management in Flutter. The best approach for your app will depend on its complexity and your own preferences. State management is the secret ingredient that keeps your apps dynamic and responsive. From counters to complex forms, you're now equipped to handle any state change with poise. 
Now, unleash your inner innovator. Experiment with different state management techniques, find what works best for your masterpiece, and share your concoctions in the comments. Don't be afraid to ask questions, remember, even the most seasoned Flutter wizards stumbled upon state secrets once. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Flutter magic. In the next chapter, we'll dive deeper into navigation. Keep fluttering, and remember, the power of state is in your hands.